Hello, what's up guys? I'm Kyle from KGR and welcome to Show & Tell. For the few that are new, Show & Tell used to be my monthly pickup series, but now it's just occasional where I just show off some stuff where I'm either showing off games or action figures or anything nerdy. I just show it off. And because it's November, uh, a lot of stuff came out <laughs> in the past month and I spent a lot of money. You can kind of possibly get a sneak peek over my shoulder. I, I, I can't tell on a little viewfinder, but yeah, let's already talk about it. Yeah, yeah. I got a PS5. I actually managed to get a pre-order in thanks to my boy Brick Boy in the chat. Thank you, Bryce. I love you. I managed to get one through Amazon and thankfully it made it safe. Uh, no defects that I can tell so far. And I, I kept the box. I didn't sell on eBay. For five hundred dollars. So before this, I was using a PS4 Pro, and now I have absolutely no reason to have it. Well, okay, okay, there is one reason, and it's because I have PT. But with that said, I already have that on my standard PS4, and if I'm gonna play it again. I might as well just play it on that, if I'm ever gonna play it again. So now, when it comes to PlayStation's, I have a backwards compatible PS3, so I can play my PS2 games as well. A PS4 to play PT. That's it. Then a PS5 that plays all my PS4 games anyway. So with that said, I am very happy with my gaming setup right now. And uh, in, in fact, I've actually made space for it like probably a couple months ago. And even like had a spot on the HDMI switch box down here to do that. So yeah, PS5 baby! Oh, I also work at Best Buy. So I was there to do the 6 a.m. launches for both the Xbox and the PlayStation. I had to get my PlayStation through Amazon, so I had to wait until I got home to play mine. And I was very excited. I was very, very excited. So if you want to see my reactions to actually like unboxing this and playing with it, um, I did an unboxing live stream, which that's public. You can see that on the channel. You can either click right here or wait till the end of the video. Either one works. Yeah. PS5, baby. And it wouldn't be a system launch with games. I only got two besides Astro's Playroom, with, which came with the console. And I still have yet to play that. So I'm going to stream that. So if you want to see that, uh, turn on notifications because they don't seem to work. So uh, for games, I got uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales, the Ultimate Launch Edition. So I got the remaster of the first game. And I also got Sackboy, A Big Adventure, which I actually didn't complete yet because as soon as I got this in, I... Which, by the way, this came late. Uh, but when I came, when this came in, I started playing Spider-Man because I love Spider-Man. So eventually, I'm going to play this. And I also got another controller, which... Hold on. Yeah, now I got two of these controllers. So if my girlfriend wants to play with me or if my friends wants to play with me, I have two of these now. These controllers are expensive. I didn't enjoy paying that but I did it so I'm gonna stream Astro's Playroom I don't know if I'm gonna finish streaming this I might we'll see and of course the PS4 is still gonna be around for another couple of years or so so we had to get another game on that and that was Kingdom Hearts Melody and Memory which I already talked about this in my PS4 collection video even since I made that video I still haven't played it yet and I'm gonna be real with you I have no idea when or if I'm gonna play this game cuz I just found out that it's not even like adding too much to the overall story it's just a Kingdom Hearts rhythm game so I'm gonna take my time with this I'm not gonna worry about it yet we also got a Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity I streamed this a couple of times nobody cared nobody watched so I am gonna play this on my own time uh, I'm probably gonna do one mission or two a day for an hour or so and just take my time with it while I'm trying to play the remaster of Spider-Man, a game I already played before. But this time with a different face on it. I'm starting to grow to the face. I like the other face better, but this one's not awful, even though a lot of people say it's awful. Which, which I can understand why they say it's awful. I just grew numb to it. But before I bought any of that stuff, I did buy something else though, which I did do a stream on that as well, which I'll make that its own little thing as well at the end. I picked up a very destroyed copy, by the way, of Super Mario Party. I say super destroyed because this thing has been in a river. It It is completely soaked. And even part of the label, 
is like actually sticking to like the plastic. So like if I try to replace the case, I, I, I can't. So I have to buy an all new case eventually. But the reason why I bought it is because it was actually on sale for $38 at GameStop, which I never like shopping at GameStop. But not only did I do that, but I also got the, the, the pro card or whatever like a month prior. So I had a couple of rewards on there, plus I had enough points to buy another reward. So I had $15 in rewards. So after being on sale for $38, as well as doing the $15 in rewards, and also round it up for charity, because charity! I only spent like, I think 26 bucks on this game. I don't know, it was something really stupid cheap. And I'm very, very proud of it, because I've actually wanted this game for a while, but I didn't want to pay 60 bucks. But now I got Mario Party. On the switch yeah let's go baby and in a new case it's probably gonna be like eight dollars on ebay i'll do that whenever i have the spare money and during that trip when i was going to gamestop i caught them at the right time because the guy was like hey do you like avengers i'm like i think it's okay why what's up uh he's like do you have any friends that like avengers i'm like oh yeah of course i do and he gave me this giant bag Full of like probably like anywhere between seven to ten. I didn't count them, but there was a lot in there. And it was just a set of these pins from the Avengers game on PS4 and Xbox One. I didn't get this game. I was going to, and then I played the beta, and I thought it was very disappointing. And I got very bored of it very quickly. So I decided, you know what? Instead of spending the money on this now uh, for a game that I'm not that excited for, I am gonna cancel it and buy it when it's like $20. But now that I've seen the reviews and see what it mostly has to offer, I don't think I'm ever gonna buy this game at all. If it's free on PlayStation Plus, sure, maybe, why not? But it has nothing to do with Spider-Man on PS4. It's the main reason why I bought it, because I thought it was gonna be this giant video game universe. No, not really. But yeah, at least I got a set of these pins. And then I gave a bunch of them away to my friends at work. So that was, that was neato, and I hope they appreciate it. And then I was doing some shopping because uh, Christmas shopping and all that stuff. And also my girlfriend's, her and I's anniversary is coming up. So I had to do some shopping for that too. So uh, while I was at the mall, I did some Christmas shopping for myself because I definitely didn't spend enough money on myself already. So. What did I get myself this time? This is something I've wanted for probably like two years at least. And I never bought it because, I don't know, I'll just wait till it goes on sale. And by the time I go back, uh, it's gone. When it should be on clearance. And it cleared very quickly. <laughs> that is uh, the, the Superstar Light Up Tree Topper. I've wanted this for so long. <laughs> Every year, my mom is like, oh my God, shut up. You need that. And she's right. I do need this. And I think it was like on sale. I think it was like normally 20 bucks. And then GameStop had it for like $12. I'm like, fine, I'll do it. So I did it. I still haven't opened it yet. I still need to get a Christmas tree. But when we do get a Christmas tree, for me and my girlfriend, when we live together and we get a Christmas tree, first up, we're gonna have a separate game room. We're gonna have all new game room, boys. All new room tour. Get ready for that. It's probably gonna happen next year. Uh, but anyway, um. I'm excited to do this. I got some Mario ornaments. I'm gonna pick up some more Mario ornaments. I'm gonna pick up some other video game ornaments. Why are there no Crash Bandicoot ornaments, by the way? I need I need a set of those. Come on, numbskull. Get on your game. This says, I believe in Jesus, and I'm a hardcore gamer. Yeah. I also wanna do another shout out. Uh, this one goes out to a personal friend. Shout out to my friend Paris. Here she is a manager over at Hallmark. And every year at Hallmark, they always do some special Nintendo ornaments. Every year. There's a bunch of them. And they're also very expensive. Uh, so I don't buy them. But I want them so bad. And the ones I do want are always sold out. There's always one in the whole set that's like super cool and goes away instantly. This was one of them. Uh, luckily, she, when I told her how I wanted this, she told me, yeah, good luck. They're all gone. I'm like, ah, oh, okay. I, I didn't like cry about it. I promise. But eventually, um, she contacted me. She texted me and she's all like, hey, uh, we 
We've got some more. Do you still want one? And I'm like, why, yes, I do! So she sent it to another location that's actually closer to my home. So she hooked me up. And... Uh, so, uh, by the way, yeah, hi Paris. I doubt you're gonna watch this. But anyway, uh, she uh, left me a little note. Well, and it wasn't for me. It was actually for whoever was working at that particular Hallmark store. But we're gonna, we're gonna open it up. This ain't the first time I opened it up though. This ain't gonna be a reenacting of an unboxing. Be like, what is it? She kept the post-it note over it. So it still felt like a little surprise anyway. Open her up. Whoop. Yeah. Unwrap it like it's a double cheeseburger at McDonald's. Oh, baby! And, oh. Yeah! Look at that! It's a little Nintendo ornament. Oh, I'm so happy to get this. And the flap opens up the reveal of Super Mario Brothers. And then you can press a button and it plays music! <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a copyright claim over that. Freaking Nintendo. But, hey! I also want the Donkey Kong arcade cabinet too, but I doubt I'm gonna get that. But, <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, and I even got the NES Classic over there and an actual NES up there that you can't even see on camera. But, man, look at this. This is so cool. I love this. I love it so much. Is it going to be worth a lot of money in the future? Pfft, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I'll be sure to hold on to it forever. Thank you, Paris! But that's pretty much it. That's all I got, I think. It's not a whole lot, but it's still a whole lot of money. But thanks to a lot of things happening, like uh, my car, taking a poopy, um, the, the anniversary gifts, uh, a bunch of other stuff. I definitely spent over $1,000. Maybe, I don't know. I, I definitely pulled a thousand dollars out of savings. I'm pretty sure I did. So, oops. But am I happy? Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh yeah. And look at this. Look at that. Actually, it's probably hard to tell because of my color correction and all that stuff. Like, all of this is probably just all black. I don't freaking know. PlayStation 5, baby. The backwards compatible PS3. Um, Switch. A 3DS that's modded so I can play it on my monitor. Classic consoles, because they're all gone, except for a Sega Genesis. That one's still somewhat available. This is a setup I'm very proud of. I am so happy to have all this. In fact, I actually want to do a video showing off the gameplay setup. Not just to be all like, ha ha, look what I got, but mainly so I can explain this is my gaming setup, and when I want to stream, it's very simple to go from one to the other. Go from casual to stream, to little to no effort because it's a little bit elaborate because people see it in person and they're like wow this is actually really well optimized or they really love it so i, I kind of want to share my setup in case you want to have something similar or i don't know in case you're just curious but that is the the video that's show and tell I got a ps5 let me know in the comments did you get a ps5 and please don't rob my house. And if for some reason you're watching this and you're new and you like what you saw, eh, you know what to do. In the description, there's my socials if you want to follow me on anything. And I'm gonna do, I don't know, I'm gonna play some more Spider-Man, Hyrule Warriors, not play Kingdom Hearts. Oh yeah, yeah, I also got one more thing, technically. I uh, hear my girlfriend bought my friend's copy of Breath of the Wild, but I managed to keep this. I got the little... The, the Explorer's Guide, because apparently that's worth something now, and I like collecting. Now I want the Mario one. So if I see the Mario one in the wild, then, you know, I'll probably grab that. We'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I love you guys. Oh, uh, and uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace, peace. Peace. <laughs>